Hello, I'm James Smith for Fight Now TV in Las Vegas at a pretty empty Mandalay Bay as they set things up for Saturday night's much anticipated rematch. Brandon Rios and Mike Alvarado, they met five months ago in a fight that perhaps was the best of 2012. Saturday night, expect fireworks again. How many times have you watched the tape of the fight? Just a few times. I really didn't have to go over it. I mean, we all know what kind of fighter Brandon is. He comes forward and he just fights. Um, I watched it just enough to, to know what I have to do. I mean, just remembering that fight, putting myself back into that fight. I just I know what I have to capitalize on, and I know what's gonna, what, what keys I need to change to, to win this fight. First off, I thought you were hurt, you were in trouble, but I thought he stopped it a little bit prematurely. Yeah, he did. I mean, I could have fought through that. I don't know if everybody's seen that Prescott fight, but, you know, I came back. I fought through even more in that fight, and, I mean, I didn't get a chance to really show my heart like I, like what I have, what people know me of. But, I mean, it is what it is. He did what he had to do. He did his job, but um, it's a, new, it's a new, new time to redeem myself. So I don't think people understand how good you are on the inside. That's where you need to be in the damn phone booth, and you kept yourself there. Talk about your ability to get inside, and then once you're inside, how you set up those left hooks to the body and that tremendous right uppercut. It's just uh, something I've always been able to do since I was little. I love to fight on the inside. That's my game plan all the time. I love to fight on the inside. Uh, I'm a great inside fighter. I learned, I watched a lot of videos of a lot of great inside fighters. Old school guys. Old school guys, yes. And I watch their videos and I, I just look at what they do and I try to perfect it or do the same as, as they do. So in the inside, I don't think there's anybody in the business that can take care of me in the inside. Maybe in the outside, yeah, he was doing a great job, but I had a hard time getting it in. So that's why I had to put my pressure, keep on him, stay on him. And... Um, I got in there. One of the things I think he, that he has so good is flexibility with his hips, upper body. Uh, you know, he may not be Sugar Ray Robinson. He never will be. But in terms of that upper body move, explain that and how you use that and he uses that. You know, it depends on who the fighter is. You know, a fighter that, that doesn't have too many or very good reflexes like others do. They don't need that, but one, an inside fighter like Brandon, we need to work on that. You know, every time he's inside, you know, he's, got to, he's got to move side to side to, to even even avoid a lot of punches. And as you, if, if we see the fight again, like, you know, we just seen it this morning, we watched it a hundred times. Uh, a lot of punches that, that Alvarado's throwing are not landing that clear. A lot of them did, I'm not saying that, but a lot of them were being rolled by, by Brandon's movement like that side to side, which is very effective on somebody like Brandon Brandon Rios. Did you feel his strength? Did it surprise you? Um, it was more of like his will, his will just to keep coming forward. He didn't care to get hit. So, I mean, he's, he's going to be right there for me. You know, I'm going to be able to adjust and, 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 and use some more skills this time around. So, uh, I wasn't surprised. I knew he was, he was tough. I knew he was strong. But, I mean, this time around, I'm going to strategically uh, just make big adjustments. So. You know, in thinking and watching that uh, first fight the other night, one of the things that I disagreed with the announcers is I thought uh, that you were the stronger guy in there. Did you feel that your strength was better than his? I felt, uh, I felt that he was strong. He was a strong fighter, don't get me wrong. But you know what, I did come in that fight and I did feel strong because the fact that I didn't have to lose the last five pounds. I was fighting at a comfortable weight. So yes, I did feel really strong. This time I feel, even feel more stronger because I'm used to this weight now. I already did it and I already know how Mike Arado, I already know how he punches. Yeah, I already felt his power, so I'm ready. One, one thing that, you know, Averill did against him successfully was when you get on the inside, perhaps tie him up a little bit. Yeah. I know you want to fight, but right. have you thought about tying the guy up and discombobulating what he does on the inside? You know, I mean, that first fight, no. But, I mean, now, yeah, after a good strategic camp, like I said, I mean, learning and, and using different tactics, definitely it's going gonna, it's gonna to overcome this, the type of fight that he wants to bring to the table. So I'm, I'm on top of it. So The only time I saw him having any issues is when sometimes he'd pull back, square up, and stick his head up just a few times. Exactly, perfectly. You just said that exactly the way we've seen it also and uh, what we worked on for this fight, uh, little things like that uh, that are going to make a big difference now. That was, that, that was my fault, you know. I have a habit of doing that. Even Robert knows that, and we've been trying to correct that. I do have a habit of stepping back with my head up. So when I step back, I bring back my head. And that's the shots that he was landing, and those are shots because I gave him those opportunities to land those shots because every time I step back, I kept my head up. So, you know, we were practicing on that and everything, but other than that, 
I'm ready, man. I'm just 100% ready. But I want, you know, I want to go through that that knockout though because it was sensational at the end. The way I saw, I don't know what anybody else saw, and you saw, you you set that right hand up. A, 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 maybe. 30 seconds earlier, worked your way in, you threw one good straight right, and then set up the looping right. There was a method to that madness. Yeah, that was correct, because in the sixth round, I, I caught him with the right hand. I heard him, I threw that right hand. I seen him like he was coming in, and I knew if I go around, I caught him. So I caught him, I, I stunned him. So I knew in the seventh round, he would never recover from that first right hand. So in the seventh round, I knew if I can work my jab way, he get in there. So I did that, I worked my jab, and then I threw that right hand. Right when I threw it, the first punch, I, I felt him stunned. That's why he wasn't throwing back. He took 23, like, he wasn't just throwing back at all. And I landed again, the right hand, and that's what stunned with, like, stumbled him into the rope, and I tried to land it again, but, you know, I missed it, and then I, fortunately, I got him with the hook. I think that referee stopped it. All right, well, look into that camera and tell the folks what's going to happen Saturday night, the rematch with Rios. I'm going to win convincingly. I'm going to win. I'm going to box him. I'm going to step around and I'm going to I'm going to move. I'm going to do what I was supposed to do in the first fight. And I'm still going to fight him. I mean, it's still going to be a war, but I mean, I'm going to win convincingly and not take as much punishment this time around. Well, learn to do what I did. Tie guys up from time to time. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to bring my tie and take my shoestrings off and tie them up. I'm going for a 10 count, baby. I don't want to leave no doubts in his corner and his his mind and his trainer's mind. Nothing. I'm going for a 10 count. Uh, March 30th, Saturday, is going to be another epic battle, so come out and support us. And I'll tell you, fans, how you beat this guy. You tie his ass up. That's how, that's, that's how you beat him. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> well, just like you fight fans, I'm excited about Saturday night's rematch. Rios and Alvarado, their first fight just over five months ago was scintillating. Ebb and flow, back and forth, tremendous action. The referee didn't have too much to do until he eventually would stop the fight in round number seven. Rios awarded the technical knockout in, in a stoppage that some people, especially the Alvarado people, feel was a little bit too early. Everybody's hoping Saturday night we have a decisive and conclusive ending. One thing for sure, we're going to have a great fight. These two can do nothing but put on a great fight. At the end of the day, I see this one playing itself out much like the first, I think that Rios will break him down and eventually stop Mike Alvarado. One thing for sure, the winners will be Rios and all of us for watching the fight. Reporting for Fight Now TV, I'm James Smith. <laughs>